Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday, September 4th, 2014. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal 11. Let's talk about what we saw today and Tuesday combined as I think we're seeing some stealth camouflage selling in the market here. We're being very clever about it, but let's talk about it. Here's a look at the ES Futures contract. Another what we'd call doji day. Tails in both directions. If you look at it, we've been just looking at this daily chart. We've been dead flat for five days. Hard to believe there's actually some selling waves going on here, but that's exactly what's going on, and we're going to dig in and take a better look. Uh, a little bit clearer maybe on the NASDAQ side. Here's the NDX 100 index. So you can see that uh, Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, we, we did kind of open up and hold, but then today we gapped up a little bit, sold off, and actually have an outside day down, meaning that the body of that candle completely encompasses the prior day and closed to the negative. So that's an outside day down candle in the NDX. That's a little more obvious as to what's going on. Uh, and when we look at the uh, intraday action in a moment, you'll really see it, uh, I think, clearly. Meanwhile, some of the bigger stocks did sell off today. Take a look at Apple. Big day down. If this is the start of the, the market roll, that's not surprising. Uh, here's a look at Google. It was a little flat, but they have some big announcements tomorrow and the day after. Uh, Amazon also sold off just slightly uh, today. Tesla gapped up and sold off. Net Netflix tried to take the highs and sold off. So a lot of failures to the downside in the market here. Uh, let's take a look at the volume number, which was once again 1.7 billion shares, 1.73, a little bit better than the prior day. So again, as we said, volume comes back after Labor Day, starts to tick up bit by bit, and that uh, looks good overall here. All right, let's go to the intraday action and let's take a look at those ES futures. And this is what I find so fascinating. Even though we're closing flat so many days in a row here now, if I go, to, let me back you out for a moment just to the 15 minute chart, just so you can see where we've been for the last week. And as you can see, some of my alerts going off as I switch this, the charts here. But as you can see, we're basically right where we were, this 2000 level, which is our key TriStar level. Uh, we hit back on the 25th. Uh, which was the prior Monday before Labor Day, and uh, played with that on that day, used it as support, closed on on Tuesday, almost closed there Wednesday, almost closed there Thursday, closed up a couple points over it on Friday, uh, and then yesterday's, uh, uh, Monday's start of the week, we did close right at 2,000, and again here today, basically traded at 2,000 in the last bar. Okay, so we've really, if you look at it, we've gone nowhere. That's what you'd assume. The difference is how the action's played out. Uh, instead of the gap up and kind of float sideways or even gap up and drift higher like we saw in August with no waves of program set trading, here we've had some program trading, and it's almost all been to the downside. After we uh, opened Monday morning, we filled the gap, drifted around for 90 minutes. You can see the two blue bars down, and then a few minutes later, two more bars down. There's volume in those moves three bars down after that. Those are the big selling waves. There's not really buying waves. They just let go of the selling and let it drift back up uh, on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we get an even bigger gap up. And look at the whole day. It's just selling, selling, selling with a bounce over lunch as they let go. The only time they stopped trading, the volume backed off. It bounced a bit, and then they resumed selling once again. So the sellers, the professional sellers are out there. And by professionals, we're talking about the bigger position funds, uh, either getting out of positions, or shorting the market. Remember, September's traditionally the most negative month of the year. So that's what I'm looking at. I still think, you know, you got to be real careful here playing the long side. You got to have a, a complete, uh, clean look at a green market direction using our market direction tool before you get too excited about anything on the long side here. Short side is a little more interesting. Obviously, better when the market's actually pushing down for the day and not just drifting. Uh, we had some decent trades on Tuesday. Not as great on Wednesday. We had some winners, but uh, nothing went as far as it did on Tuesday. Uh, but I think one of these days here, when they finally decide to push the market lower, you know, that's that, that's what you're going to really want to be able to look for. That's what that's what the opportunity is going to be is when they finally crack this market with selling pressure and get a bigger day down and everything starts to come in. You know, that's where you want to have your big green day. Uh, Friday, of course, even though we're technically out of summer, it's still a September Friday. So probably be a little bit lighter. We do have some big data in the morning. We've got the trade balance number. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the uh, ADP employment change, initial and continuing jobless claims. Those are weekly numbers. And a look at uh, productivity revised for the second quarter along with unit labor costs. That's all before the market. Then we have the ISM services 30 minutes in, natural gas inventories an hour in, and crude oil inventories an hour and a half in. Uh, and then don't forget that sets us up for Friday where we've got the unemployment rate data. 
Um, no holidays for a while here. I believe there's one bank only holiday with stock markets still open uh, at some point still. I think it's Veterans Day in October. Uh, but the next real holiday is still a ways off. So it's that one time of year where we've got basically three clean trading months, September, October, and then until Thanksgiving in November. And uh, I believe that Thanksgiving comes late just this year, just like uh, September's um, uh, Memorial Day came early. I'm sorry, Labor Day came early. I think uh, Thanksgiving's not until like the 27th of November. So we've got a lot of time in here without a lot of holidays, just pure trading. It's usually a great time of year. Let's stick around for it and have some fun. Everybody uh, drop by the trading lab. And if you haven't taken a look yet at our six-month mentorship program, now's a great time because you'll be in it for the six months that are the best for trading every year. We'll see you in the lab.